In this video, we'll be going over the physical connections on the 16A and how to hear yourself through monitoring. On the front panel, you'll find a phone jack for connecting a pair of headphones. Use the knob above it to adjust the volume. The source knob lets you choose which signal to listen to on your headphones. For now, leave it set to Monitor Mix. Use the main volume knob to control the line outputs 1 and 2, which will be connected to your main studio monitors. On the back of the 16A, you'll find many other types of connections. Starting on the back right, here you'll find line inputs 1 through 16. These inputs are for powered, line level audio sources, like synthesizers, keyboards, mixers, and external outboard gear. Note that these are not for connecting guitars or quarter-inch microphones. These connectors are balanced, so you can use a balanced TRS cable. Next are the 16 line outputs. Outputs 1 and 2 serve as your main outs for your primary studio monitors. Line outputs 3 through 16 can be used to send audio to things like additional studio monitors, external outboard gear, a mixer, another recording device, and more. Note that these outputs are DC coupled, so they can be used for CV control of analog synths. Next, you'll find two banks of optical connectors. Each bank provides eight channel ADAT optical IO, 16 channels total, for connection to other optical devices. The network ports can be used to daisy chain additional 16A units together for expanded I.O. You can also connect an AVB network switch to connect to additional AVB devices or other computers on the network. Finally, you have word clock I.O. for syncing the 16A to other devices in your studio. Sync ensures clean, noise-free digital transfers and also eliminates drift between the 16A and other devices. Now that you're familiar with the connection types, let's talk about monitoring. To monitor an input, open the Qmix Pro app on your computer. In the Discovery tab, you should see a picture of your 16A. Click it to select it. Now you can access all of its settings in Qmix Pro. Now, click on the Mixing tab. This is the 16A's mixer with 64 inputs. You can customize the mixer, but from the factory, this mix is what you hear on the headphone outputs and line outs 1 and 2. The first eight channel strips are output from your DAW. Scroll to the right to see the 16A's analog inputs. To hear an input, just bring up its fader. For instance, if I want to hear line input 1 on my primary studio monitors, I simply bring up its fader here. If I want to hear line input 2 on my monitors, I bring up its fader as well. This patches the signal through the 16A hardware itself, from the inputs directly to the outputs, and makes it easier to quickly hear yourself in real time. The input signal is simultaneously sent to the computer to be recorded in your DAW software. To avoid unwanted doubling of live input signals, turn off Audio Patch Through in your DAW software. In Performer Light, choose Studio Menu, Audio Patch Through, Off. In Ableton Live Light, click Off under the Monitoring section of the track. In the next video, we'll dive into the additional features of Qmix Pro. Thanks for watching.